Hi, let's talk about infused oils in this video. With the season change, every year in every season, I create oils for my body massage and my head massage. I don't get ready-made oils from the market because most of the body as well as hair massage oils, I read labels every time I buy anything and uh, most of these oils in the market uh, the base oil used is mineral oil. Now mineral oil is not full of minerals. It is actually a petroleum derivative and it can cause skin cancer in the long term. And most of the massage oils, even the baby massage oils, the base oil used is mineral oil. And why does the industry use it despite knowing that it causes cancer? Because it is dirt cheap. Mineral oil you would get if you were to buy in bulk, less than a hundred rupees a liter. It is so cheap, uh, which is why it is used mostly commercially across the industry. So whenever I even go to a salon to get myself a head massage and I love getting it done from someone else because they'll take an hour to do it. If I were to do it myself, I'll probably do it for five to 10 minutes, maximum 15 minutes, not more than that. So it's nice to go to a salon, get it done and then get a steam after that so that the oil is well absorbed into your scalp. But I always carry my own oil. I do not uh, use the ones that are there in salons. So I made these three oils and I was so excited. I thought, let me create a video and share um, the exact process I followed for making these oils. And uh, uh, if you like, you can make them at home. So this first one is for the skin. This is for body massage. The base of this oil is pure white sesame oil. And the oils I use are food grade, organic, cold pressed. I would never use a refined oil. I would never use cosmetic grade or industrial grade oils because they are full of impurities. So it's always and only food grade oils which serve as the base oil for all my formulations. And the same oil I use like, you know, for cooking purpose also. It's the same quality of oil that I use for my formulations. So this uh, 900 ml of white sesame oil and 100 ml of castor oil. So I add castor oil to all my hair and body massage oils because one it gives it that body that viscosity and two castor is a detox oil so when you're getting a vigorous massage done for your skin or as well as for your scalp you would also want your skin to be scrubbed and cleansed along with getting moisturized so castor oil is a very good bet for that and then to increase the life of this oil you add one percent of vitamin e oil Additionally, to the base, if you like, you can add some almond oil, some argan oil, jojoba oil, or any other oil that uh, appeals to you. But I use the base as sesame because that is in uh, Ayurveda, sesame oil is the base for most formulations. It's, it's a well-absorbed oil into the skin. Most skin types can take it and it's a very good oil. Uh, lots of benefits. It's also slightly warming, so it's, it's good when you're getting a massage done. So to the base of sesame oil, I then I prepared the herb blend on the side. I slightly roasted coffee beans and again they are organic coffee beans and uh, some flax seeds. Now flax seeds are full of omega-3 and they are very good for anti-aging properties for the skin and coffee is skin tightening, anti-aging, antioxidant. Again both these ingredients are very good for mature skin, ages, aging skin. So this combination can be used by any above, anyone uh, above 40 years of age and it's very good for that. It rests your skin aging with regular use and uh, if you use this oil on your body maybe once or twice a week get a massage done from someone even better but even if you do it yourself in summers you don't need to give a oil massage daily even if you do it twice a week that should be fine so i roasted these two ingredients and then i powdered them finely powdered them then i put it in this bottle and then i poured uh, sesame oil and castor oil and vitamin oil on top of it and I topped the bottle and now I'm uh, keeping it in the sun this will be on for at least 10 to 15 days 
and after that I'm going to sieve the soil, remove the flax seeds in coffee and just the plain oil I'll put it in another smaller bottle and then use it throughout the oncoming season. So this is my body massage oil. Then I need two hair massage oils. One is with coconut paste. See it is still a little frozen right now. When I made it, it was, I mean I had melted the coconut oil so it was all melted but now because it is still we're in the middle of winters going and spring taking over so it's still a little chilly in Delhi NCR so which is why it is still a little frozen so this is with coconut base this is going to serve as the body massage oil for throughout the summer season which is why I've chosen the base as coconut for it and next 15-20 days this is going to be solar infused I'm going to just keep it in the balcony and forget about it and uh, all the benefits of the herbs that I used I used 23 herbs in it I'll put the list of the herbs in the description below and all these herbs the benefits of these herbs are going to get seeped into the oil and so the base oil is 90% coconut, 10% uh, castor and then again a few uh, capsules of uh, vitamin E uh, to give this oil a longer shelf life because this is going to last me for a few months. And the herbs I used, what I did with them was I again I uh, slightly dry roasted them so you dry roast the herbs so that if there's any moisture in it it comes off and then the shelf life becomes longer the shelf life of the oil is lesser if the herbs use have water inside so water is what gives it fungus and bacteria and a shorter life and then you might need a preservative but whatever I make for myself I do, do not use add any preservatives I make it in batches which I will use in the time I know you know it will not catch any fungus and and if it catches fungus then I just throw it off but this formulation has been made with dry herbs so there is no water and this is going to last me a long time so basically I dry roasted the herbs then I coarsely grounded them in, in the mixy and then I put it in the bottle and then I poured a warm coconut oil plus castor oil mix on top of it and now I just leave it in the balcony and again same time as my body massage oil maybe two weeks and then after that I sieve these oils put them in smaller bottles keep it in my bathroom and use uh, whenever required twice a week is what I intend to use both these oils so now for immediate use I've made this oil this is another hair oil so I start with this oil and I can use it like you know today itself if I want to so this is made with fresh ingredients and this is what will give it like you know a shorter shelf life because it's made with fresh ingredients though I have simmered the oil for a long time and I hope there was no moisture left but even if there is some left because I will use it first so it gets over in a month or two and before it can go bad it will be utilized so this is the oil I, I use now in spring and this has mustard oil base and the coconut one is what I use maybe after a month or two later after this one gets over. So this is made in the base of mustard oil and this the fresh ingredients used for this are rosemary, thyme, curry leaves, shallots, ginger, garlic. So all these herbs, I coarsely grounded them in the mixy till it became like a green sort of a chutney because the herbs used, I mean, most of them were green. So it was like a thick green chutney and then I put that in the mustard oil and then I put it in an iron karahi and I simmered it on low heat for a few minutes till I feel that all the moisture had gone, had evaporated. And after that, I sieved it and put it in this bottle and um, and then uh, just uh, so that there is some uh, herb inside uh, whose extract or whose benefit keeps seeping into the oil I put some methi dana, kalonji and rosemary, dried rosemary leaves inside so they are still there in the oil uh, those were the dried ones but all the fresh ones those were simmered and sieved away so they are not there in this oil anymore but still there is a chance that some moisture could have remained of the fresh herbs so I'm going to use this as is uh, so now what is the difference of these 
two oils and why have I made two oils for the hair so now like I said this one has dry ingredients it has more ingredients it has 23 ingredients this only has five six ingredients and uh, this one is going to last me like for the complete summer season so that that's you know even for six seven months or one year it will not go bad now this one this is something that I do not make or sell under the nature brand because this has fresh ingredients less shelf life and whatever we sell commercially it has to have like a shelf life of a year so this does not qualify to be sold like that because I would not want anybody to buy it and then get fungus so which is why I thought I'll just talk about it in a video so that you can all uh, make it yourself. So this is definitely it has more efficacy, more benefits than oils made with just blending of oils, blending of a base oil and a carrier oil, a blending of uh, oil and dry herbs. So those variations are there. <coughs> but this one uh, with the, due to the fresh ingredients, it definitely has... Uh, uh, more benefits it is more potent and this is something that will definitely stop your hair fall uh, promote your hair growth and uh, ensure that your hair is nourished from the roots and you will not get any split ends so this one would definitely ensure that now the base over here I've chosen mustard mustard is uh, a warmer oil as compared to coconut and for this season it's fine as it becomes much warmer in Delhi then we switch to coconut oil so I've used uh, mustard oil throughout uh, the winter season as well and for this month as well I continue with mustard and uh, the smell with all the ingredients used it's not it's not uh, smelling as pungent as mustard oil smells it's the smell is more herbal now with the a rose, fresh rosemary and fresh thyme and uh, fresh curry leaves so it's and shallots so it is completely different now how to apply oil so that uh, it really gets into your skin and uh, really benefits you so if you just take oil as is and just apply it will not really get into your scalp into your skin so for oil to get into the skin there has to be some element of moisture in it so either you make your scalp wet you know with water or something or or what i do is easier way i take my hair tonic my rosemary peppermint hair tonic which is made with a blend of uh, five hydrosols so it is just water i spray it all over my scalp i just give myself a light massage and after that i warm this oil and then i apply it so one the oil is warm and secondly you are applying it on the moist scalp so with both these conditions the absorption is much faster much better and I keep the oil for at least overnight if not more sometimes if I don't have to go out over the weekend and I'm going to be home I just keep the oil on for the entire weekend and I wash off on a Monday morning but if I have to go somewhere then overnight application wash off the next day and just keep a towel on your pillow and that's it but you must do this oiling routine for the body as well as for the hair once or twice a week I would suggest twice a week but at least once and this will really ensure that your hair is even your skin is well nourished and moisturized and this abhyanga has to be done throughout the year now it's not just for the winter season you can change the oils you can change the herbs this is whatever you think suits you your body type but you must continue with this practice throughout and oiling is so much better than using the cold creams and the lotions and the moisturizers which may be filled with toxic synthetic chemicals i mean you'll have to read your label to see what you're using and it's this statement is not applicable in all products there are uh, good products also in the market but if you're using moisturizer with synthetic chemicals inside so that it smells nicer and the skin feels nicer for a short term but it's giving you a lot of damage in the long term so it is so much better you know to instead to use you know maybe a sesame oil with flax seeds and coffee in it is so much richer for the skin so do make these formulations and do share your experience with me and i look forward to hearing from you thank you